What's up guys, this is Chad and this is the RC Models and More channel. And I'm making this video to post on to a really awesome Facebook group, the Monoprice Maker Select V2 uh, Owners Group. Uh, primarily because I see a lot of people are on the same journey that I am. I've had my printer for about four or five days and I'm looking to do a lot of the cheap uh, modifications that just require filament, you know, the Z brace and add, changing the Y carriage and stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of great discussion and everything on that group and a lot of great answers and a few pictures, but there's not a lot, There's I haven't seen any actual like video uh, documenting anybody's issues or um, anything like that so I need help and a lot of other people need help so I'm gonna basically kind of document my story here and uh, put it up on the group and hopefully get uh, a lot of feedback and discussions going on to help me and to help others uh, that um, are new to this because there's just like I said a ton of uh, good uh, answers and responses on there and everything and you know for this printer at less than 300 I think you know it's like around 255 right now I think a lot more people are going to be picking them up as well and uh, I've, a lot of the YouTube content does carry over to this one but a lot of it out there is dated uh, too um, some things don't look like mine do so uh, take a look at what I've actually done so far if you look back on my channel I just got done doing the MOSFET upgrade so I got that taken care of already that went really uh, simple and easy there's a, a few good videos on that um, right now uh, I don't have really any problems with the printer itself uh, I've been printing out everything to do my uh, z-axis mod and whatever other kind of mods I, I I basically want to just tear it all down at once and get everything done uh, I have a new uh, Y carriage and I have some glass uh, to, to replace the plate with um, I've been printing out parts for the z-axis upgrade so I've got like the top brackets printed out here I've got the little uh, nut balls printed out here and then I've got these uh, little spring retainers printed out I'm fairly confident that my bed is relatively level. It's not 100% perfect, but I am uh, printing uh, items on a raft right now uh, just because I have a family member that does this and he told me to definitely start out with a raft uh, printing until I get everything set up uh, the way that I want it to. I'm using the Monoprice uh, X Plus filament PLA and I am using uh, Kira to go ahead and do all my slicing. I've made a lot of uh, modifications uh, to Kira and uh, as far as going back and just looking at all the different YouTube videos and everything as far in reading all the stuff on the, the Facebook threads and various forums. So I think I've got uh, a lot of that stuff uh, dialed in as far as uh, sl slowing down the print speed and um, adjusting, oh, I don't know, a few different things. There's, I'd, ha I'd have to go into a whole nother uh, video about that, but I'm just sitting here watching it print. I'm still amazed at how awesome this is. I've wanted to get one of these things for a long time, and you know, the prices have finally come down. And I use, I purchase a lot of 3D part printed parts for my drones and everything, and I figured, hey, you know. I could probably pay for this thing pretty quick with just a couple parts that I would purchase. I mean, some of the GoPro mounts that I buy are, you know, $30, $40, and there's a lot of them up there on Thingiverse already. And I don't want to steal everybody's ideas, but hopefully one of these days I'll be able to contribute on to Thingiverse and contribute here with this content, content here. 
So as you can see, the printer itself is printing pretty good. I don't really see any problems unless somebody could tell me about something. Um, as far as the actual quality of everything, um, I do seem to have, if you, if you look straight down here, it's kind of hard to see on the video, but this piece here looks like it's kind of bowed in a little bit. Um, it kind of starts like right here and then comes back out, but that doesn't seem to be affecting anything at all. Um, my springs are all pretty straight in the front. The back two back there are kind of slanted off kilter. So that should be what these and some hardware end up fixing. So I don't know if that's still something that people are doing or if that's just a, a futile effort. So hopefully uh, some people can... Um, you know, lend some information to me and to others about that. Uh, I've got the filament up on top. I know I see a lot of people will have that either mounted on the box here or on the side and coming in some other way, but I haven't had any issues with it yet. Haven't had no issues with uh, things not sticking uh, or anything at all. I guess the biggest thing is just the level leveling thing, trying to figure out. You know, some people use a credit card, some people use a business card, some people use paper. I bought a set of uh, feeler gauges. These are like nothing, but I don't really think that did any better than just using paper. So, these, uh, top, these are the bottom two uh, brackets that are going to go right here and here for the Z-axis mod, and then I need to print... Uh, some rear stuff and some uh, feet for here on the sides as well and I think that should be about it I should be able to switch out to take it all down and switch out the plate and go through and relock tight everything and all that kind of stuff so this is at 82 percent right now so I should be able to get the other stuff printed tonight so that's gonna do it for the video right now guys if Anybody has any uh, comments of things that I'm doing wrong, uh, let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, one thing real quick, I did want to tell people, I've seen a lot of people asking about the Z-axis switch. And there's the screws for it right there. And if I can get the camera back there. It is actually right there in the center that's that piece of metal right there right here that's the switch that this comes down onto and stops the nozzle so that was one item that I saw that people were really talking about um, wanting to know about where that is and I don't know if that just varies from model to model or what so um, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Real uh, quick and not edited or anything like that. So uh, let me know what you think. And hopefully this helps some of you guys out. And hopefully we can all help each other out as newbies. So we'll talk to you later.